Cheers, and welcome to the Tabletop Discussion on the Voluntary <laughs> Virtues Network. And you are just 17 beliefs away from true freedom. Today I'm here with Mike, Christy, and Matt, and we'll be discussing that topic here on the Voluntary Virtues Network. Uh, today we're drinking Swami by Pizza Port in Carlsbad. It's delicious. Notice I have an empty Very glass. Very good. <laughs> It's a IPA. 6.8%. Yeah. Wasn't the Solana Beach one like 7.2 or something? I believe it was 7.4. That's what I read on the internet. I feel I too. It. <laughs> it's still very good though. Yeah. It's, it's really good. It's good. Uh, it's good. Nice citrusy flavor. Yeah. Brewed for over 20 years, right? Yeah. I'll give them that. If you've been brewing this for 20 years, they're a good brewery. Standing power, or lasting power, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, on to our topic. You are just 17 beliefs away from true freedom. Uh, this is an article on liberty.me by Wally Conger. Uh, and he wrote, uh, when I was a baby anarchist, I thought once we get rid of the state, then I'll be happy. First of all, I love that that term, baby anarchist. I Big think I think anarchist. I think I first heard it from from Jeffrey Tucker, and and I just love that that uh, analogy of of being born into anew, anarchy. yeah, born into anarchy. So is it like a born again anarchist? <laughs> kind of, yeah. yeah like yes. a born again Christian, really? a born again anarchist. Now in my mind, I get a, ve a very vivid picture of like a toddler with like black diapers that has like a circle A on it. <laughs> that's me, you know. Why didn't I have those when I was a toddler? <laughs> <laughs> I did not see you with that. <laughs> uh, so anyway, these are your seventeen beliefs uh, that should lead to true freedom. The first one is the general population does not know what freedom is. Well, can I go back a second? Okay. So you yeah. said the 17 beliefs that should lead you to? Is, I didn't get that from reading that. The title is You're Just 17 Beliefs Away from True Freedom is the title of the article. Okay. All right. Okay. So That's Im the implying okay. that these 17 beliefs will lead you to true freedom. Okay. In the, in the uh, idea of integrating them into your thinking, you know. And so these 17 oh. beliefs are located where? Where could somebody well, fo follow I think we'll be this? linking that below. Okay. Yeah, we'll link that in the Link that the below, the, below this video. Yes, there's going to be a little box and, you know, uh, information. Uh, one thing that's good to know is that uh, Wally Conger didn't actually come up with these 17 truths. It was... Sky Adaris, Adaris, Adaris yeah. and Natalie Hall. I think those are pseudonyms, though. Written in the 1970s. Oh. So this is... Old shit. Yes. <laughs> Lost somewhere in a, in a dusty corner only to be revealed today. But actually, today. that explains some of them, because I think some of these conversations have evolved since then. So, no, that's, yeah, that's I would just, agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll, yeah. And we'll get on to that. Yeah. Uh, number one, the general population does not know what freedom is. So what do you think about that one, Christy? Well, I really, now that you brought it back to that was a 70s conversation, I actually can understand why they said that. Because in the 70s, they probably, it was more true back then. But I think there are more people now that have woken up to the fact of what freedom is. Um, I just, yeah, so mm -hmm. that explains it. Would it be more by a percentage or just an overall amount of people? Yeah, general population is kind of a J, uh, kind of a. I would think if I, I would think if I, if, I, if I went and did a survey about just anybody walking there and I asked them what freedom was, they'd give me an idea. I would, they get pretty close to what freedom was. I really do think they would. I don't think it would be a. I, they don't I don't know about that. I think, really? I think kind of instinctually we understand what freedom is generally but I don't know that many people could come up with a good definition do you think of freedom we could? I don't we know could try. I give it a shot, right? <laughs> does, any, does anybody have something they have off the top of their mind it's kind of like free will uh, <laughs> reference don't episode stop that two. again <laughs> reference episode 2 um, well, but only because free will is similar to freedom it's yeah, it's, I would say it's so. that it's it, that, they definitely yeah. relate in a yeah. way. 
So uh, what was the definition of free it, will? It was it was having something that does not constrain you right. in action. Right, and it's a, to me it's the same thing. It's having is being free is being able to do as I choose without being constrained by it. Without coercion. Right. Without, without coercion, force. without force. Well, I, I, I think that would be generally accepted by pretty much most people of the libertarian mindset or maybe anarchist mindset if we want to broaden that out. You know, I would think that's fairly agreeable as long as you're being able to do what you want so long as you're not harming others or forcing them to do something. That's fairly agreeable. Yeah. So what what is your idea of what the general popular? If you don't think people believe in freedom, what do you think they would say freedom is? Well, I mean, how many people who are restricted by the government still call themselves free? Yeah. Even no, with you know, but I think they they call the United States a free country only because it's what they think the country is. But I think if you actually ask it's them because what of the, the propaganda, right? The propaganda. I think if you ask them what freedom was, I think they would come up with a definition that would be what freedom is. It's just they haven't made that connection. Many that people, word, I think. Yeah. I, there, I don't think they some, made the connection. There's some people really who are free. thoroughly brainwashed out there, though. I talked to somebody the other day who was thoroughly convinced that we were free, and her definition of freedom was that you're not in a cage. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> so, okay. That, that is... Well, I guess it's Pretty a level, but freedom. I guess as long as there it's are so, no bars, so there are free. some. I guess okay. Okay. so. there are some people who really don't know what freedom is, but I think I think you're right. I think most people would. Uh, I think I think the problem is in the the is in the mind rather than in our rather than in the definition. Uh, yeah. So right. I yes, think definitely. Uh, I think a lot of people hold uh, strong cognitive dissonance that keeps them from seeing the gun in the room. I so think to speak. Yeah, the elephant in the room. I think it's that belief that we are free as a nationalistic type of thing. It's that nationalism, that story that wow, America well, is free, but they forget all the things that that make us not free. They how don't, regulated you know, they really yeah, are. Yeah, exactly. It's become just a norm to be regulated. Sure. And they make excuses as to why they are. Or when it comes to like the Bill of Rights, it's like so what yeah. do they have to do now? Really all they have to do is really just quarter soldiers and houses and that's they violate every other one of them is that pretty much it no like <laughs> so they just you kind of bring that up yeah. as an example like hey so yeah. all the reasons for the revolution which one of them haven't they done yet and it's almost all of them when they listed that in the declaration of independence they've almost kind of done every single one of them again more or less yeah, yeah. so that's true um so what do we think about this one does does that do you think then that because we Disagree that I, I think all of us disagree on that one, right? Yeah, I uh, you know, oh disagree with this. With yeah, with this, the first yeah, one. Yeah, I Unfortunately, that's the one I kind of agree with and and this is not I mean and I think most people know me as I'm incredibly optimistic and in the future I see people or at least you know the general population and I don't know if he means the majority or not, but I'm, I'm taking it as a means majority that... Yeah. The problem is, I think, is that general population is kind of a collective it, it, yeah, term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's kind of a problem too. But so the, the thing is just from personal examples, when I've talked to people, I ask them, well, so what, so what do you, you, you think about freedom? And I've had experience with that. I've, I've helped with other people's political campaigns. I've, I've worked on my own in the past. And when I ask people, well, well you know, like if it, if it comes up, what do, you, what do you think about the word liberty or freedom? And... And more often than not, the answer I get is the, be, the ability to speak your mind, and they leave it at that. And don't get me wrong, well, that's, a, that's a very vital point of being free, is being able to say what is on your mind. But That's more free speech. Though. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's more free speech, but they, they, <laughs> yeah. they don't think of all the other aspects of what it is being able to be free, being able to do what you want so long as you don't hurt others. Right. They, I think a lot of people instinctually, like, like I was saying before, I think a lot of people instinctually know, though, and, but not can't necessarily articulate if, a if, definition if or you were to talk with them about exactly how in the government's mind what what they believe uh, they have the right to regulate then they, they would disagree that the government 
can regulate any of exactly the yeah I mean, of our, what we would think of as freedom. or I think a lot of people look at freedom as oh and they do have the right to regulate because freedom is chaotic you know fear freedom is something that no anarchy be. they believe is chaotic or, well they, I think that it, we I think we it equate is, anarchy with freedom right the general population I, I think most people uh, equate it with chaos. I don't think many people, if you were to ask them, is, fra- is freedom chaotic, that they would agree oh, with that. Oh, that I've statement. experienced that. The same when, when I was running many years ago, I was running for office, and talked to them about freedom. It was, they knew what freedom was. It was just that they had to have a state, they had to have a government to quell all those people who would Well, the government the keeps them in fear. Right, keeps them in fear. But Right, I got it. But that's what their, their whole thing was. Yeah, I get what freedom is, but oh, we need to, then, you know, we need to... Keep a wrap on it because there are really weird people out there who would, who would violate that freedom. Thugs, you know. There's also people who would say, "Oh, well, look at all these other countries where everyone is not even, you know, they're less free than we are. But you should enjoy your freedoms." Right. Yeah. Well, why why should we stick with exactly. being oppressed yeah. in these manners? Right. It, it, we shouldn't allow that. Yeah. We, we need to press on for even more freedom. We need to evolve. I mean, what? Wouldn't it be nice to evolve this conversation that was started 250, 300 years ago to something new, something more um, progressive? Oh. <laughs> I, I kind of like where you're going with that because, it, 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 in my view, you know, we think of, of like the philosophers of the Enlightenment that brought yeah. forth, you know, the uh, uh, the, the American Revolution, the, the French Revolution, the, the general reorganization of the English state, and all that, but. Um, what, why, why is it that we think that the Enlightenment ended? You know what I mean? And I don't see any reason to think that the Enlightenment ended. If anything, it's just accelerated. We just don't call it the Enlightenment anymore. You know, like it, the, the, the advancements in technology, the, the very idea that we can, you know, send pictures the other side of the, the globe in a matter of a minute, you know, if that. Well, it, you know? I understand like, as, a, as a time period, mm-hmm. the or a movement that the Enlightenment was more the start of. Fair enough. I mean, it, it's, it's good to kind of help out when we're talking about time frames, if we're talking about people, like, well, what, are, what time frame are we talking about? All right, okay. Yeah. All right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. But I agree with you. I don't think... I think you do have a good point, though, when you're talking to, you know, teabaggers or constitutionalists or... Right. Uh, any of the minarchists in general, or your various shades, colors, of socialists, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. that that they may that they pay homage to the pay homage to these guys that spoke, you know, two hundred years ago, and don't give credence to the idea that we've made so much more progress in philosophy since then. I think people have been in the, the fog of nationalism, the story of the state. And then when you're in the fog of a story, you, you don't think outside of that. And I think people are breaking out of it now. I think that's what's happening. People are breaking out of, oh, you know, maybe there's something different. Maybe we haven't taken that conversation of freedom to the next level. Let's, let's look at it, you know, let's just discover it, what that is. Um, yeah. And it's, and, and I, I happen to believe that enlightenment is the way for us to actually have this voluntarist culture, voluntarist community. That, and I don't, okay, so I don't think it's going to be 100% people who are enlightened, but it's going to be a small um, force that actually teaches the rest and, and shows that we can have um, a, uh, sur- um, what's the word for it, a su- sustainable community, maybe the one that we create in Arizona, <laughs> where it's a sustainable um, voluntarist community that, you know... I don't know what you're talking that, about. That sustainable oh, community oh, will not know. be... <laughs> in Arizona will not be occurring. I have no idea what you're yeah, talking I about. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> um, oh, that one, I don't know, down south. That there. Right, right, south. Got it, good. Awesome. Moving on. Uh, number two. <laughs> Um, I, I, don't, I don't think we're done with number one yet. We're okay, so, we're not done with one. Okay, that's cool. Can so we, can, should we do this as two parts, or how should we... we I, I think this is going to be a lot... Of, I, I think this is going to be a multi-part discussion. Okay, all right. Here. This may be two Seeing episodes. Seeing as we're at almost 15 minutes now, it'll probably be a multi-part. That, that's totally okay. <laughs> um, so, 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 Mike, you do agree with the statement 
in uh, generally you, speaking? Generally speaking, unfortunately, yes. I I, I think that um, either through education or just experience, I think um, a lot of people are so reliant on. I mean, just if we're if we're just talking about numbers. 50% of the population is somehow reliant on government money to live. Either they're getting a paycheck as they're working for the government or they're uh, you know, getting food stamps or other assistance. So if we're just talking about... But uh, do you think that they don't feel dependent by that? I think they are. They feel that they're dependent and unfortunately, I, I couldn't say a majority confidently, but I do think there's a large part of them that... It feels dependent, and they don't. Because really, I think, I think there's care. a difference between right. knowing what freedom is yeah. and being free. Okay, yeah. Fair yes. enough. They, they can know what freedom is and have no I action agree. on it, right? Yeah. Right. You know, just that sort of. So, so what would you? So, do you think that this topic then, is, or this this belief, is necessary for you to have freedom personally? Um, I think if we, if we go farther down the list, that that's one of the the, the uh, statements made here. That just for me to have freedom, it's not necessary. It's not necessary for the entire population. Yeah. Well, yeah. what I'm, what I'm so, saying though is that this the, this whole list mm-hmm. is supposed to be 17 beliefs, right? Uh, that lead you to true freedom. Mm-hmm. So you think is is this a belief that's necessary for you to move on to true freedom? No. No, I don't. I, you know, I mean, I maybe, maybe this may be one of those things where tomorrow you ask me the same question. You believe the general population does not know what freedom is? I might disagree and say, oh yeah, sure they do. You know, maybe I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. It's really kind of funny <laughs> like that. I think all, yeah. I, I think I all think, of us has had. I think that's like a that, problem. You know? like, I think that I think that problem arises when you use. Nebulous kind of terms like general yeah. population. Well, if yeah. You're say, it doesn't claim that they believe they are free. It says, do they know what freedom is? Right. Fair. So it's right. kind of it's a distinction right. that probably needs to yeah. be made. Yeah, there there are a couple of these I did have to read uh, like I a few times where I was like, wait a minute, what is he? What I really he mean think by it's that? irrelevant to on personal uh, freedom to be the step on a step to your own personal freedom. I really do. Yeah. I think it's what important. others. What others. I mean, it's, it's a good not, conversation really. topic, but I don't think it's a yeah. step in my my personal. Shouldn't affect your no, own. It, it other people affect. shouldn't no. affect your own. Right. Freedom. Exactly. Now, perhaps perhaps it's just worded poorly. Well, okay. So I how maybe, could you word it in a way that you thought? Where the intent does this? I, I think the intent of this is to maybe say that they believe they are free. No, no, no. no. They are not. Or no. Uh, that what other people believe about freedom is immaterial to your freedom. I, I, that's kind of the, the idea I get from that statement. And I, I guess I, 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 and I would agree with that statement. I should be clear, though, I guess maybe to, just because, um, again, it, it's, it's worded fairly vaguely in, in a sense because we, we then have to define general population and then freedom. Right? Is general population... Population a majority or not a majority? Uh, how are you defining freedom, etc.? But in my opinion, I do believe the entirety of the population is perfectly capable of understanding what freedom is. Yeah, I see, so like yeah. that. So I guess maybe like to 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 explain that a little bit. I totally believe everybody I've ever met is capable of understanding it. Right. It's just a matter of are they exposed to the idea? You know, do they have the patience to listen to me blabber on for how long? <laughs> so what, that, the, what does that have to do? With and if freedom? you were to explain actual freedom to them, mm-hmm. you could then they could you could then make them realize. They're not actually free at this point. That actually right. could be the reason why they put it there. Yeah, is that, that you know, they really don't get that they're not free. You know, they may might understand I the think, definition of it, but they not sure. realize that they're not I free. I think that's the intent. That, that probably is the intent. And I would agree with that if that is the intent. I would agree most people not. are just oblivious to it because they're so caught up in the automaticity of life. You know, just I, yeah. go to, I wake up, I go to work, I take care of my kids, I pick them up from school, and I, you know, it's like the automaticity. Not yeah. Easy. It's not, yeah, it isn't. It's, it's, it's what we've gotten ourselves into. And, and to break out of that could be the conversation that we have. Or, yeah. Yeah. I, I think a lot of people, what, what it is, is, um, you know, this is kind of one of those things that I, I can't remember. It, it was an enlightenment philosopher who said this, and I can't remember who it is for the life of me. I'm sorry, say that again? It was an enlightenment, uh, enlightenment philosopher that oh, okay. said this, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but uh, it, it, it's um, something I would, if I remember correctly, it was an enlightenment philosopher, it may not have been, but um, that people are okay in a gilded cage. 
You know what I mean? It's hey, cold. look, it's yeah. pretty. It's you nice. know, like, it's got food. Yeah, it's got, it's got big a screen TV, couch. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. No, yeah. Another way to say it maybe is it's difficult to free men from uh, the chains that they revere. Yes, I like yeah. that. I like yeah. that. That was good. Yeah. I forget that's who a, said that. Really so I think, but I think I like we can one. blow through number two because I think we've pretty much gone What's over number two? Actually. What was number two? Let's yeah. talk about, uh, let's just say what it is real okay. quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number two. emotions on this. <laughs> number two is the activities of the general population are not good indications of what and how you can be free and at what cost. So I think we kind of already discussed that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I agree, you know, um, I, I found with a lot of things that if you do what the general population does, you may be, end up in a bad scene. If you do the exact opposite or be careful about how you're sailing for... How do you mean define bad scene? <laughs> okay, you're asking, yeah. you're asking me to define a, a, a phrase I use like 20 times every day, bad scene? <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, just because it's, I understand what you're saying. Right, right, but, but, but on the other side of the lens, right. Um, bad scene would, oh God, <laughs> bad scene would be... Um, if you do that, might you, you might have a bad time. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> there you go, bad scene. You know, you're putting yourself in a bad when situation. You, when you, you freeze know. fried, when you're supposed to pizza. Would something come after you, bad scene? Bad scene is... Oh You'll be God. less free. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Which Thank is you. Thank you. Right. you. For sure. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. I like my freedom. Okay. Yeah. So... I've never had a defined bad scene before. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I completely... <laughs> there you are. No, it, no, it's wonderful, actually. That was really kind of putting me in a spot like, I've never had to define this term I use every day. <laughs> So people have an effect on my freedom. Well, they do have an effect on it. That's not what this says. What is, what is it again? The activities of the general population are not good indications of when and how you can be free and at what cost. Yeah, I have no comment, so. Fair enough. Cheers. <laughs> I respect this. Okay. Yeah, I think we can move on from that one. So number three. An overall decrease in the freedom for the general population does not necessarily mean a decrease in freedom for you unless your actions are essentially the same as those of the general population. That's kind of like number two. That is very very tied to it. Yeah. I think a lot of these are... No, because that one could actually be tied to the state. A decrease in freedom for the general population could... That has an effect on me. It does. You know, it, it, in, as long as your activities are tied to the... That, that's, that's the kind well, of... Well, I live in my community. I mean, if they're, they've got stops every, you know, checkpoints at every corner, yeah, that that's, affects me. You know, I have to stop. I have to tell them, uh, you know, either fuck you or, you know, show my papers or whatever. So, you know, so... But yeah. like the general population, as it says, you're also driving... You are so acting the same so way as the general population. Where's your jetpack, so Christy? Get past those checkpoints. <laughs> jetpack over it. Uh, oh, it does say necessarily, well, though. So I guess it would be something in this that this you would be able to get around. It doesn't necessarily mean a decrease in freedom from you, unless your actions are essentially the same as those of general. Uh, well, yeah, my actions, I live in the general population. So I don't live, we, I don't live out in some boonie <laughs> Now, um, well, the point of this is to lead you, is to lead you to more freedom. I got it, but I, at this point in my life, have chosen to live with the general population. So, but, course, it, it, so, but are there actions though? Let's say checkpoints, checkpoints, for example. Right. Are there actions that you could take to get around checkpoints? I would say absolutely. Yeah, I could. We, ch- we, I know, could, we don't. Right, you we guys don't know, protest you, the checkpoints right. for no reason. Right. Yeah. So, so there are people. Uh, yeah, but what is I don't be, check my I don't check you. my Although, my computer thing, no. and I just but oh we, my shit they're there. There are text messages sent out before all this check but I'm not, I'm not on your text message thing. So what I'm saying is I don't this know. This can't be right. We, <laughs> so, so often we're so out there as well, warning so, them when they. Okay. So there. So that then what I'm saying is, if your actions are uh, signing up for the text message list right. or uh, protesting or any of this then those will not decrease your freedom because then you are able to get around them. So there are actions you can take 
in order to not... Yeah, but it says an overall decrease in freedom from the general population does not necessarily mean, but I think So that it necessarily does. means I think that necess you can take actions that yes, you make can. you I'm have more freedom than in general. I agree. So people, but so people that's what who, this is saying. So, people, so it's a step. So people who sign up for text message alerts and right. get them and say, right. hey, look, this is where the checkpoint is. Then that you you still have the freedom yeah, to right. avoid those. There so are, there are steps you can take. So I would agree with that because I, specifically on checkpoints. I almost agree. I I agree on this too. And uh, the the example I was thinking of in my head, I go, well, okay. So what could I do differently that would make me be more free than what say, again, he uses the term general population. Well, what what could I do? Well, when it comes to a, a lot of where you know all the control mechanisms in in the world today it comes from money because that's the easy one if you can control the money you can control almost everything not everything but almost everything bankers run the world right yeah uh, you know so um, bank? so what i was thinking in my head i go well if i bitcoin bitcoin exactly if, I, you know, <laughs> if i'm if i'm using bitcoin and and most of the population isn't you know uh unfortunately when you know i mean I, I had a friend that told me this you know he went to go deposit i think like 50 bucks into his 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 own checking account and they're you know and they're like can i see an id and he goes i'm making a deposit and they, they're like well i still need to sign and he's like what wow. i'm giving you money they've, they've, you they've know. been giving that to me plenty of times asking for my id and i've been there for a decade never been asked for an id really right wow. if i'm making a deposit it's absolutely that is, ridiculous. That is so, ridiculous so things yeah. like bitcoin but yeah you can get around that sort of nonsense so, there, of, oh, so no. basically okay. i would agree right. that there are actions that you can there take may be some that affect the general public but not everything material. but yeah there are some so, so necessarily, necessarily. Yeah, that's necessarily. What, i think that's the key I, right, necessarily is probably yeah okay good job on necessarily yeah, you, did, you, did. <laughs> <laughs> you got it all right what's the next one or is that one done? What does everybody yeah, think? Good on that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you, 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 you did actually. Yeah. You the did. phrase of the day brought you by the challenge. Yeah, challenge. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if we can move on to the next one though, okay. because I think the next one's going to be longer. Oh. A long yes. discussion. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was looking at that one yeah. too. Uh, that's that, going to be that a bad is definitely one. something right. we might need more time. All right. So. Oh wait, but buttons. yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, I really don't agree with that one. Yeah, that is something yeah. we're probably gonna yeah, need yeah, more yeah, time. Yeah. Well, can we? But we could. What? We could tease them. How about this? We'll read it, <laughs> yeah. and, and so everybody can Here, argue. You get you get an you get the you get a teaser, teaser for, next for this one. Yeah, yeah. so you can argue with your yeah. boyfriend and her yeah, girlfriend yeah, until next one. year. <laughs> you know about this particular, yeah. or until next episode, because yeah. we'll explain it to you next time, right? <laughs> yes. Um, so, number four. So number four is a rational person is only interested in freedom he can obtain in his own lifetime. In 1970, would they have? I don't know. <laughs> That's something we'll have to discuss for next week. Granted, you know, we're talking about the, the yes, the original list of 17 was written in 1971, 72, something like that. But you know, if we're putting it in a modern context, again, what is it? A rational person is only interested in freedom he can obtain in his own time. I disagree. I totally disagree. Totally. I wouldn't be well, still doing this if I would, if I agreed with that. We'll discuss it next week. Yeah. Now, <laughs> it, now, if we're talking about freedom, are we talking about freedom for you everybody, or, or, or perhaps <laughs> freedom for sentient robots, or is that, <laughs> you know? Oh, no. uh, oh, no. wait. I think Not we're getting the robots. to that topic. Uh, they, so, so we're gonna have to save it for the next next episode. <laughs> okay, so because since, once again <laughs> we, we forgot. We robot forgot to talk sex. about robots. We didn't sex. have time for oh, robots. Man, sex. we keep so. promising it to the viewers. Oh, jeez, you just gonna. No, it'll happen. <laughs> Mark my words, we will talk about robot sex. Right here, see that? And we're talking about robot sex in one episode. We will. I promise. Good. It's gonna need plenty of beer. Plenty of beer. Just we like robots. <laughs> <laughs> That's a robot. How is that supposed to turn me on? Here's some beer and liquor. That'll do it. Right? Dude, beer so, and liquor always does it for me. Uh, as always, it's been fun. Of course. I think... Well, Cheers, guys. Have a good day. Have a good one. The list will be completed.